I, I can I can smash a cola when I finish it. In fact, I I think I need one right now. I think I need I think I just need to I need a cola. <laughs> There you go. That great cola taste. And when that's all you want, just that great cola taste. <laughs> Here, let's just listen to it. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, wait for it, wait for it. What's the, what's, is there a dedicated button for reason? Oh, that just makes it go faster. Now we have, now we're really speed running it. Hang on, let's get the clock started for this one. We're going, we're doing it, yeah. <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's. <laughs> this is Super Off-Road. It was originally released to arcades in the 90s. It was ported to every system under the sun at the time. I prefer the Super NES version because that's the one that, in my opinion, is is most is most faithful to the uh, arcade classic. Um, I used to have the world record in this game. Uh, my personal best is like 19 minutes and 40 something seconds, which was set uh, set last year at Extra Life. So I think the current world record is like 14 minutes. I'm not anticipating to get my record back, but uh, I'm gonna give it a shot if if. If at the very least I can set a new personal best, I'll be I'll be I'll be happy. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get started on this. Uh, basically, in order to, in order to complete this game, you have to max out all the stats of your truck and purchase 99 nitros, and then you can you can buy no more stuff. You're maxed out. That's the win scenario that's kind of been decided upon with the community. Um, so this game is special to me because uh, my younger brother who. Uh, benefited from Driscoll Children's Hospital, which we're raising money for. This was his favorite game when he was a kid, and we used to play this together all the time. So this is kind of why this is this is the this is like the big game for me for Extra Life. This is the one that I practice for. This is the one that's all about for me. So let's make the trucks go fast one more time, <laughs> and let's let's get started. <laughs> all right, and I, I always put in my brother's name. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna start. The, we're gonna start the clock. <laughs> we're gonna start the clock. Three, two, one, go. And I've already, I've already pressed the button wrong. I meant to go down one. So we're off to a great start. I was gonna buy some nitros and some tires, or some shocks and some tires. I botched that. <laughs> I've, I have already choked, <laughs> and the run is, is not even 20 seconds in. Uh, if, if you're using Franker Faces, we do have special emotes just for this game. We've got the little money bag. We've got the we've got choke, which is uh, which is which would be applicable now. And uh, we have, we have a couple other ones. There's like a truck. There's one that says fifty thousand dollar turn. I'll get into what that is if it if it, if it happens. I hope it doesn't happen. Oh, oh that's mm. choke. <laughs> Fuck me! I thought I might have been able to even get around to get around the silver truck with that. That was a terrible showing. Maybe I can get the money back before the race ends. Okay, that's not that's not a complete loss. <laughs> it's not a. <laughs> if I was going for world records, the run would absolutely be over. <laughs> that was an awful start. That was an awful start. All right, this is Huevos Grande. It, uh, for for our non-Spanish speaking friends, that means big eggs. Throw that one out there. Let's see, that's your uh, Dora the Explorer lesson of the marathon. Get that money back. Don't get. Oh fuck. Okay. So that silver truck, he usually wins a lot of the races early on because I'm trying to max out my my, my truck stats. Uh, you can kind of anticipate their behavior, like the closer you get to them, they'll start using nitros and making sharper turns. I don't think he's going to be able to get that money bag right there, I should be able to get that. 
I went ahead and I made the loop around because I figured I'm not going to be able to pass them up. I don't have any nitros left, so I'm not going to be able to pull ahead at the very end and, and, and squeak out a win. First place is 150,000 bucks. Second is 100,000. Third place is 50, and fourth place is a, is a game over. Uh, you never want to be there. But usually, you can pick up enough enough items on the track that I got $130,000 for that race, even though I only got second place. So I still got pretty close to getting first place prize money just by picking up the items. Uh, the items in, in each track are, are random where they spawn, but they have fixed locations where they will appear. It's just random when they will show up, but they always appear in the same handful of spots. Some of the spawns are better than others, like for example, the first one on this stage was pretty good. This one's not very good, but I'm gonna go grab it, because I can still duck behind that hay bill. It looks like you're gonna hit it, but if you hug the wall, you won't. Uh, the way the items work in this game is that everything starts out either either one nitro or ten thousand dollars, and I'm in third place and I'm getting anxious now. Oh fuck, I... <laughs> we're trading paint right there. I really hope I'm second place. If not, that's... Okay, good. I'm still, I'm happy, but I'm happy with that. Uh, the way the items work is when you pick up the money bag, it's $10,000. The next time the money bag appears, it's $20,000, $30,000, and $40,000 is the maximum. Uh, and then uh, nitros are the same thing. One nitro, two nitros, three nitros, four nitros. Uh, and it doesn't matter who picks up the item, it will increment every time it gets picked up. So, even if a computer opponent picks up an item, I can still grab it the next time around, and it'll, it'll be like a $20,000 sack of money and stuff. So, early on, you really want to get money back power-ups, uh, just because you're, you're, buying, you're buying upgrades for your truck. Uh, nitros are fine, it, it, it saves you money in the, in the longer run. But, I mean, you, you really want to get the cash. That's, that's what's more useful. But then again, every, every Nitro you pick up now is $10,000 you don't have to spend later in the game. But, uh, you just, you just really want money at the start. This is my favorite course. I'm usually able to get a first place on it without too much trouble. And the item spawns are usually pretty good. That's not the good one, though. <laughs> Getting some bad RNG. I am gonna go grab it, just because I can usually get across this course without losing too much ground. And <laughs> the fucking appeared over there again. Are you kidding me? Okay, that's, that's a better one. They, 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 the item's gonna appear right there or on the, the inside of like the little C as well. And that's first place, so that's gonna be 150,000 plus I think like 30,000, so that's 180. So that's gonna let me get that, get that. Uh, you have tires, shocks, top speed, and acceleration. Uh, top speed and acceleration are pretty self-explanatory. Tires and shocks are different. Um, the way... They, they both reduce the amount of uh, uh, jostling the truck gets. Tires will help you across different types of terrain. Uh, like, there's sand on this one, there's water on this one, then there's just the regular dirt. And the shocks make you lose less speed as you're going over the bumps and little, little bits and ditches and stuff like that. So with both of those maxed out, uh, the, the different types of terrain and like all the jumps and ditch are going to have less of an effect on my, on my truck. And now it's going to be a matter of Picking up all of the, uh, picking up all the upgrades for speed. Also, yeah, the RNG gods, um, they've been kind of. <laughs> we have a love-hate relationship in this game. They're giving the AI a lot of, a lot of items. I'm not gonna be able to get that down there at the end of the race. I got a couple of money bags on that stage. I think that wasn't too bad. I actually, I got exactly one money bag. This is the first time we're going... Oh, no, this is not the first time. Last course was the first time we've gone back to a course we've already done. Um, every course... There, there's 16 tracks in this game, and each track has four different permutations. You have the regular course, forwards and backwards, and then you have the same course, forwards and backwards, but with uh, hay bales and, and uh, obstacles in it. Uh, so that gives you 64 different courses in, in the game. We're not going to see all 64 during the speedrun, 
Uh, usually this run stops at a level called Cutoff Pass. Holy shit, this is really good luck with the money power-ups. It's not very often that I get a $40,000 pickup, and it's even less often that I get the 10, the 20, the 30, and the 40. That was a really good Sidewinder. Even though I didn't win, I probably could have burned up some Nitros to get down there, but that's $200,000. That's like best case scenario. It's gonna let me buy two top speeds back to back. This is, this is Blaster. It's not my favorite track because the item spawns are really terrible. There's one really bad item spawn that I'm sure we're gonna get. It's gonna be the first item spawn. Oh, no, it wasn't that. That wasn't it. But I didn't see that Nitro appear down there. This blue truck is really... He's doing a lot better at this level than he usually does. He's kind of making me... Oh, fuck. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's the bad item spawn. There's no way to go up there and get that without just, like, losing your place in the race immediately. There's no way. That's a shitty item item drop. E even when you run this course backwards, that's still bad news. You still don't want to be up there. This is Hurricane Gulch. This is one of the few tracks where I'm gonna blow. Uh, fuck. Well, I fucked that up. I was I was gonna say I burn a nitro immediately at the start of the race to get away from that uh, bunch of trucks that are all right there at the start because everyone kind of everyone kind of huddles together around these first two turns and it just makes a mess. Yeah, that's it's weird. The the, the trucks, the the silver truck, that supposedly is a guy named Mickey Thompson, who's like an off-road racing legend. So naturally, he has like the best truck in the game. He's the he's the top dog. Uh, the other two trucks are the other two. Uh, you can have up to three players on this game, and those those two AI trucks are basically player two and player three. And sometimes they pull a miracle out of their ass and they like they like wake up and drive. Just at random. It's really funny whenever the yellow truck does it, because the yellow truck like loses every round. I think there was I think there was one year where uh, I think the yellow truck got like second place or something. The, the yellow truck got absurdly high up on the finish. And I was like, everyone take a screenshot of this because this never happens. Not that I'm, how am I at the back of the pack? Alright, I'm gonna run a nitro just to fuck these hay bales. I'm not I'm not letting yellow finish ahead of me. That's just not gonna happen. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just not gonna happen. I like how chill the yellow truck driver looks. His name is like John. He's just like, yeah, I got a trophy. What's up? I'm just passing through. I don't usually win races. This is a tricky track in just that sometimes the, the AI will go too fast around these, these bottom turns and they'll mess everything up and they'll start running into each other. Uh, whenever the silver truck like gets off course and it tries to correct, it like overcompensates just like crazy. And usually, <laughs> it, it, it's not pretty. It's funny, but it's not pretty because then he poses a threat because he's just like drifting around like crazy. And yeah, he, he, he didn't do it this time. But he can hit you and he can knock you back, which will probably put the blue truck in front of you and it's just a whole mess. But I got all four money bags on that course again. That was pretty good. I'm so close to being able just to dump all the money into nitros. That's a, that's a pretty good item spawn for when Blaster is backwards. Easy to get. That was not too bad either. Although I think one of them's gonna, yeah. There we go. There we go. Now I'm ahead of blue. Oh shit! We got the bad item spawn. So that's no more. No more items for this race. The race is already pretty much over. 
one of the emotes that we have for this channel is something that says $50,000 turn. And that hasn't happened yet, and I hope it doesn't happen, so I can explain it a little bit. Basically what that means is if you're in the lead and you, you make a really bad juke to like try to you know grab an item on your way and you and you miss it and you, you fuck up and you, you fall back a place, that you basically give up fifty thousand dollars because that's the way all the prize money is staggered. So it's called the fifty thousand dollar turn. You never want to make it. The, the emote is, it says $50,000 turn and it shows like the little man waving the flag in the, <laughs> as a silver truck. Look at Nicky Thompson, man. This fucking guy. He's too good. He's too good. I don't know how he does it. Because my truck is maxed out, stats-wise, and he's still just like hauling ass around, around this track. I don't get it. There's a, there's a couple of item spawns, like, ideally, you want the item spawns that are not in the line of the AI. Because watch, the Silver Truck's not gonna grab that money bag. AI doesn't really make a point to grab any of the items, but they'll pick them up if it, it's like right in their way, and they hit them. So whenever like the money bag appears back there in that little, this little ditch right here, that's no good because the AI is gonna get it every time. Uh, there really wasn't too many items on that stage, but ideally you want the items that show up not really far off the beaten path where it's impossible to grab them, but where the AI, it's not in the way of the AI, and it's not gonna kill you if you make like the little, little curve to go, to go snatch it. Let's see if I can do this right, there we go. That's how this race is supposed to start, you can see it puts me in the lead, early lead. Man, that's, this is actually a really good start for European Bulge. I mean, here comes the silver truck to rain on my parade, but... up another nitro to get away from the truck. He's getting, he's getting too close. He's making me anxious. It's actually really hard to make, to like weave through these obstacles in this course because the perspective isn't, isn't quite what you think it is. Also, I missed that nitro, but that's all right. So right now, the world record run has already ended. So I'm not setting a world record today, but I might get a personal best. This is Rio Trio, which again is Spanish for Three Rivers. That's really kind of out of the way item spawn. I'm in, I'm in, front, of, I'm in front of the silver truck, so this is kind of where that $50,000 turn ideology kind of comes into play. I don't want to lose my lead for $10,000, you know, I don't want to, because that's, that's a net loss of $40,000. I don't, I don't want to do that. It looks like I'm going to be able to beat him for this race, unless something terrible happens. I use one Nitro at the end just to kind of make sure it's in the bag. So that that's an instance where where the the opportunity for the for the turn is there. You don't, you don't ever want to take it. You don't want to go if it's not worth it. So we are just over halfway there on Nitros. And I, their nitro spawned right on top of me, and I was able to grab it. I, okay, I thought Silver might, got, might get that money back. The AI does sometimes try to avoid obstacles. And sometimes as they do that, they'll uh, end up grabbing items. Pretty generous with the item spawns on this on this wipeout. This is good. Hopefully Silver doesn't, yeah. So I think I got $50,000, and oh no, shit. Take that 90! That was another really good one. I think I missed the $10,000 sack, but I got the other three. I got the three that are worth, yeah. Oh no, I got all four! Well, holy shit! Nice! So I might, I'm on, I'm on deck to definitely PB for this, because I only need 28 more, uh, 28 more nitros. I'm not usually too worried about the uh, the dreaded turn, the $50,000 turn on this course. 
uh, just because of the way that I, I hugged this, this inside curve it usually keeps me ahead of the other AI. It doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, I usually kind of slingshot around those, those turns. I'm not really getting it this time. I'm not really getting any, any good item drops either. That's alright. Welcome back, Josh. I'm glad you had a good nap. Alright. So the run, this run has the potential to end here. If I'm if I if I get really lucky with the items, or if I get first place, or a little bit of both, the run could end after this race. And that would that would be good. Alright, there's a nitro. Okay, yellow picked up a money sack, I think. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to end after this race, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> nope. Next race, next race. Um, in fact, it might actually end during the race. I've never had a run end in the middle of a race before, so that'll be a, that'll be a first for me. Uh, if I pick up... Uh, that's unlikely, because I'll have to pick up six Nitro power-ups total. So the likelihood of that happening is pretty slim. Here's the first. This Nitro is kind of out of the way, but I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna see if maybe if I'm lucky if I can get the other two Nitro spawns. I'm just gonna take that gamble. Doesn't look like a, oh shit, no. Yeah, it's, it's probably gonna end on, on the, uh, the the shop menu. Okay, time is coming up. This looks like it's gonna be a PB. It looks like it's gonna at least be a personal best. I'll be happy with that. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be a few seconds off my time, but it'll be a PB. All right, that's time. 19 minutes and seven seconds. That is a new personal best. It's it's nowhere it's nowhere near the current world record, but that's uh that's uh that's a new PB for me. That's and that that's. That's what's special to me. I, I do this, I've, I've gotten a, a better time each each year I do Extra Life. I got the world record times the first two years, uh, but you know, the, the guy that has the record now, he's really determined, he practices this game a hell of a lot more than I do, so he he deserves it. Uh, he's, 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 he's a real great guy, he plays a lot of games kind of like this, so this is really in, in his, is, this is his forte, but I'm happy with that. 1907. I can I can submit this to speedrun.com and, and put that on my profile now. But uh, that's super off road. Let me take a look real quick where we are in the schedule. It's, it's 2:30. Okay. Now I've, I've got some alerts for for donations. We we have $25 from Rocky. Uh, he just posted in chat. Dr. Rocky Witz. He is uh he's he's a great guy. Very talented musician. He's got some awesome music you should check out. Uh, he actually does the music that you hear for Gatorbox at the end of our videos and stuff like that, so uh, Rockio Wits, that you can see his name is in chat right there, rockyowitz.bandcamp.com. It's really, really good stuff, check it out. He donated $25. Thank you, thank you Rocky, I appreciate it. Uh, this is all going towards Driscoll Children's Hospital 100%, so uh, again, thank you for that. 